Good morning. Well, guess what? We are live from my basement. So uh, got a new command center here, but I'm excited to show you how to use Bernina embroidery software to do your design transfers. So the first thing that you're going to need is, let me just flip the camera around so that I can talk to you directly. All right, here you are. All right, so this class is on how to get uh, an embroidery design that you've either downloaded online or one that you have purchased a CD like, like this one that I have here that's got little embroidery designs on it. How to get the design from that to your embroidery machine so that you can stitch it out. There's a lot of ways that you can get a design. You can get designs on USB sticks, you can get them on CDs. Uh, a lot of times there are services like embroideryonline.com uh, or scissortailstitches.com where you can actually go direct to the site and download the designs. And in that case, of course, you want to make sure that you save the designs on your computer in a folder labeled clearly what those designs are so that when you go to retrieve them, you can easily find them. Just, you know, kind of like you should organize your patterns at home with your sewing stuff because you are all very organized, aren't you? <laughs> I have patterns all over the house. I'm one to talk. All right, I'm going to flip over now to the uh, screen that has the Bernina ArtLink software loaded. So the Bernina ArtLink software is a free download from Bernina.com. This software is um, going to allow you to do a few things to the designs, not a whole lot, but it'll allow you to mirror the design, make it larger, smaller, rotate it, um, but that's about it. But the main purpose of the software is actually to be able to get designs off of your computer and onto your embroidery system. So let me just give you a tour. So first of all, you want to be able to open a design. Now I'm working in a folder that has my floral flamingos. The floral flamingos are a pack of designs that are available from scissortailstitches.com. They're also available at berninaofnaperville.com and in the store when we are able to open for business again. So the um, ArtLink software, just like any other Windows-based software, we have our file, edit, view, the design, things like that. And just to open a design, I could either go to file or I can hit this little open button or open icon. And now you can see here that I organize all of my embroidery designs very nicely and there's floral flamingo. When you click on a design that's labeled .art, you can preview it right over there in the screen. You can also see that um, there are other designs in this collection but this is the one that we are working with today. Now I've already got it open, so I'm just gonna hit cancel. And now if I wanted to do something to this, there's a couple ways that I can enlarge and reduce. Did you notice how when I clicked on it, I got these little black handlebars? Well, these will allow me to just left click and drag and make it smaller. And then I can also use the ones either at the top or at the sides to skew it. So let's say I don't want the flamingo in a perfect circle and I want it in a more of an oval shape, I can do that. Now, one of my favorite features of any software is the undo button because I don't really want to make those changes that I just made to our flamingo. So I went to undo until it wouldn't let me undo anymore. So that's what that is. Now, there might be a situation where I want to embroider this design twice. Maybe uh, one, it's going to go on one pillow and then a design on another pillow. So I can actually save this one as my floral flamingo left facing, or actually, I guess this one's facing to the right, right facing, and then take this, mirror it, and then save it as floral flamingo left facing. So that's what Mirror does. And then Mirror will also flip it upside down if you had a design that you needed to, to flip in some way like that. Now, if I click on my design again, I get white handles. And these white handles will allow me to rotate it. 
let's say I want to just spin my flamingo and get it just in the right position. Maybe I want it to be looking up. It's catching some rays on the beach or something like that. So the um, white handles allow me to do that. There's also uh, handles at the top and a hand, little smaller handles here to the sides. This is actually going to tilt the design. And I suppose, you know, maybe for this application it doesn't work as well, but that works really well for anything that you want to kind of give a reflection of. Um, that works nicely. So I'm just going to undo that. If you wanted to be very specific, if you are trying to be more specific about your angle and you just want to rotate in 45 degree increments, you have these tools here. These tools allow you to click to rotate it anti-clockwise and you can click on it to rotate it clockwise and that would be rotating it in 45 degree angles. Just like I showed you that we can do that with these white nodes when we click on when we have our black handles we can click on it again and get the white handles. All of the things that we can do here by infinitely adjusting those angles and the slant you can also do in those boxes there. We can also type in how large or small we want the design to be. If you look down here with the design selected, if you look down at the very bottom of the window, you're going to see that this design is 4.59 wide by 4.74 high. So that is the actual size of the design. But if I decided I really wanted this to be about four inches wide and I wanted to keep my proportions, I would go over here to this section of the software where I've got this little lock design is allowing me to scale it, but it's going to scale it proportionately. So I can just swipe on my width and say, yes, I want it to be four inches. And then the software makes that adjustment. And so now I've reduced it just a little bit. And that way, if you're putting this in the middle of a quilt block or you're trying to put it on a shirt or something like that, then you're able to actually size it just for the spot that you want to put the embroidery design on. A lot of times when you open a design, like our little floral flamingo, you might want to have the option to save it as something. Don't use your um, little save button here like this if you've made a lot of adjustments to a design that you've downloaded because you don't want to overwrite the original design. So just like any program, it's important to do a save as onto your computer wherever that file folder would be saved and I'm just going to call mine floral flamingo altered so I'm not overwriting that existing design. You can print a design and print a design is different than stitching one out. Printing is basically opening up the um, printer and printing a placement template but then also printing a thread chart. This is really nice because sometimes when you get a design that you download you don't always have the sheets to that do the color separations for you so this gives you an option to print out so that you can shop for your threads and get you know the right colors for however you want to stitch the design. Uh, sometimes with a flamingo design like this it really is all about the shading and so people really like to pick the designs that the design was stitched in so that the, the flamingo has the right uh, shades of pink and dark and the, the bill looks just right. And you can print this on one page, you can print it proportionately the right size, you have options for that. And when you go to the options menu, there's the design worksheet, uh, color film is something a little different, we're not going to talk about that today. It will tell us how many stitches, it will show it with connectors, or connectors are also called jump stitches. It will show the outlines, it will show the hoop template. So when you're embroidering, with each hoop, there is actually a uh, template that goes with the hoop. Printing these on the hoop template sometimes give people an idea of, of the scale or how it's working in conjunction with the hoop template, but you don't necessarily have to use that. So I'm going to uncheck that so that you can see how that works. I do like using the guides, the design information, that's all of our thread colors, stitch time, everything like that. 
it, you can even print the thread usage so that you know, do I need to get a super large spool of this or how, how much thread is this actually using? It will print with the machine runtime. And we can also scale the design. Now, if you're using this as a placement template, you don't want to scale the design. You want it to be at a one-to-one -one ratio. And so there, when I said OK, you can see that my design template is not there anymore. But now my design is stitching at a one-to-one -one ratio. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. So we've got our design, and now we want to put it on a USB stick. So how we're going to do this are, a, there's a couple different things that, that I want to talk about. So I'm going to switch over to the laptop camera so I can show you my USB sticks. So there are so many different kinds of USB sticks out there, and there's ones now that really hold so much data. Uh, embroidery designs, the way that we put them on the stick, they are not super giant files, so you can fit quite a few on a USB stick. If you are uh, disciplined about when you buy a USB stick with embroidery designs on them and you save them on your computer, you can reuse those sticks. We sell Bernina of Naperville branded sticks at our store. And if you ever purchase something on a CD and you actually don't have a CD-ROM drive at home, we will put the designs on the, on the USB stick for you as well. But um, let's let's just talk. This is an eight gigabyte USB stick. This this works in uh, the Bernina machines that are the new style machines. So like the the five series, seven series, eight series machines. But if you have a Bernina 200 Artista or a 730 Artista, you for sure, for sure are going to need to use your Bernina USB stick. It is a fail safe. USB stick, please only use this one. You're just going to make life difficult for yourself if you try to use something else. And those sticks are still available. They're not cheap, but it's worth it. You're not going to have to like fill up designs on it and then buy a new one when it's full. You're going to save your permanent designs on your computer. So just investing in that stick will save you a lot of frustration down the road. Uh, now I'm going to go back to our software and I'm going to show you some other icons as we get ready to load this on our USB stick. So we saw the print and the print preview. This is a sewing machine button and this sewing machine button is the button that you're going to use to send it to your machine. So I'm plugging in my USB stick into my computer. And then I'm opening, I'm going to click on my sewing machine. And now I have my device selection menu that's come up. The device selection menu has a few choices for us. The first one that I'll circle here with my mouse is the it is compressing our .art file that we opened up in Artlink and it is now going to send that design as an exp to a USB stick. What this process is doing, it's not just creating a file that's labeled .exp, it's creating a file of the exp it's also creating a .bmp file, and that is to have your machine show what the design looks like when you preview it on the screen, and I'll show you what that looks like. And it also is creating a .ini file, which is information about the design. So the thread colors, the kind of thread chart is, it's using, all of that information is, all of the information for the design is loaded on three different files that you're not even seeing anything happen. It's happening backstage. All you need to be concerned about is putting that USB stick in your machine, making sure that, that you're or putting that USB stick in your computer, making sure your computer recognizes the USB stick. And then you click on this file and now your window shows up that said the Bernina data exchange folder that says the design floral flamingo altered has been copied successfully to the folder. Now, if you have more than one USB stick in your computer, it will give you a prompt to ask you 
which one you want to put it on. So the one that I have in there now is D, but I'm actually going to slip another one in here so that you can see the difference. And I'm just going to say okay to that. So now let's just for fun, let's open another design. I'm going to open another flamingo. They're just really great things to open today, flamingos. It kind of reminds me of being on vacation and flamingos. They're so awesome because they're pink and and everything. So here's another flamingo. Now I'm going to send this to the USB stick. And remember how we do that is really think about the sewing machine being I'm ready to bring this over to my sewing machine and now I'm going to select it. So I'm left clicking on that sewing machine. And now I have my choices again. Now we're, we will talk about some of these other things, but right now we're going to do just what we did before. Now I have two USB sticks loaded in my computer and so the, the, machine, the software is confused. So it wants to know where, which USB stick I want to use. So I will then um, go to my little folder with the arrow popping out of it. And now this will allow me to choose my stick that's either D, that was the first one I put in, or F or E, which is the new one that I put on. So this is um, something that might help you if you ever have more than one data storage USB stick on your computer. So what do we do if we want to connect the design directly or connect the computer directly to the sewing machine? That is what this button is for. So there, when you get your embroidery module, there is a cable that will go from your computer to the sewing machine or the sewing machine with the embroidery module attached. And that I call it the umbilical cord because that's what it really it feels like. And the umbilical cord will go from your computer to your sewing machine with the embroidery module attached. And this will allow you to stitch out with your sewing machine directly. I'm telling you right now, don't do it. Use a USB stick, so much easier. Uh, likewise, this um, icon here with the folder going into the machine will send the design to the machine and it will save the design on the memory of your sewing machines with the embroidery module attached. That is also not something we're gonna cover. Now, these two pieces right here, are, do become important if you are working on an older Bernina embroidery machine. And which ones I'm speaking of here are the Artista models 165, 170, 180, and 185. They are the Bernina embroidery machines uh, that have a black and white screen, and they also have um, a serial cable like this. So these will go to the modern machines. This one will go to those old retro black and white screen machines. So that's what this serial, this nine pin serial cable looking plug represents is going to those Artista models 165, 170, 180, and 185. And 170, sorry, I forgot about that one. All right, so deco, what does deco mean? Deco is actually an embroidery machine that is made by Bernie or made for Bernina. Um, they're mostly a Burnett deco, but there are Burnett decos that are 600s, uh, six, actually 650, 500s. That's not the Burnett deco we're talking about in this case. We're talking about the Burnett deco 300 series. So there's a 330 and there's a 340. And that is the button you would use for that because it has to create a special folder and and so forth. Um, I don't think many of our customers have this machine, um, but if any of you do watch this video and you do have questions about that, you are more than welcome to send us a note on our Facebook channel, through our Instagram channel, or through our website. 
uh, don't forget we are Bernina of Naperville.com. Our Facebook is facebook.com slash Bernina of Naperville. And our Instagram is instagram.com slash Bernina underscore of underscore Naperville. Finally, there's a USB stick that's labeled art. Now what this one is creating is a file that will go on the special USB stick that I showed you that is a Bernina branded USB stick that goes on the Bernina 200s and the Bernina 730s. So you will select that button. It will create an art file that will be suitable to stitch on your sewing machine. Now, once I'm actually in, I've got my designs on my USB stick, I'm going to need to actually send these designs to the, or carry my USB stick to my sewing machine, put it in the USB um, input on the, on the sewing machine, and then look for it on the sewing machine. Uh, it's pretty easy. So if you have a 5 or a 7 series machine, there's only one USB port. If you have a Bernina 880 or a Bernina 830, then you have two ports. So you can put two sticks in at once, which also means that when you select the USB, it's possible that you'll see two USB sticks showing up on the screen of that machine. I'm working in a uh, simulator to show you how this would work, so unfortunately you're not going to really see my flamingo in there, but we're going to pretend that there's a flamingo in there, okay? Use your imagination. <laughs> All right, so here is our Bernina 790. I've carried my USB stick over to um, my machine and uh, the embroidery module is attached on the machine. I've turned it on, I have my embroidery screen selected and I have my choices here. But if we look here, the alphabet, the butterfly, the imported stitches and the favorite folder, these are all things that are loaded directly on the machine's brain. And that, if you see here, that sewing machine being depressed with the gray, that shows that that is what is active. Uh, all I need to do is go over, see this little picture? That's a picture of a USB stick. So I'm just going to click on that. And now, everybody use your imagination, the flamingo would be showing up here. So it would be a bitmap image or a .bmp image of the flamingo that we just put on our USB stick. And that is part of one of those three files that get transferred during that process. Remember I said there's the actual file, the .exp file, then there's a bitmap so that we can see a preview of what the design looks like, and then there's an information file to tell us what thread colors and things like that. Um, but it's really that simple from computer to the machine. There is one more thing that you might want to be mindful of, and that is um, when you want to safely remove a device. Now that's not showing up on this screen here because I'm actually using a separate monitor, but there is a little button over here. If you have a USB stick inserted, where you can click it and it will say, um, it'll show a picture of your USB stick and you click that to safely remove it. Um, that's a basic computer thing and um, I'm sure you've used USB sticks before so that's, that's how they're gonna get removed. I'm gonna wrap it up for right now. Uh, it's a pretty simple process. Uh, any questions? Don't forget to send us a direct message, uh, post on our Facebook page, uh, and also you can uh, follow us on YouTube. We will be uh, doing some editing to this video and then posting it to our YouTube channel, which you can find us on YouTube. We're Bernina of Naperville. And then you can like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to know when we post new videos, just click that little bell and you will get alerts when we add a new video. But for now, I'm going to sign off. We're going to work on uh, 
a badge making class and stitching that out. And uh, we had done that one already on our Twitch feed, but I wasn't really happy with some technical difficulties we were having. So we're going to do it again. And then we're also going to do the uh, intro to uh, embroidery, just like a quick down and dirty way to get you plugging your module into your machine, stitching something out so that you have something to do while you're stuck in the house and, uh, and hope that, you know, it helps you out somehow. So, uh, yeah, we'll be back in touch and thank you so much and uh, see you later. All right. Bye-bye.